In this video, I am going to be configuring some transcendent cameras that are on a PoE switch. Uh, in order to do this, I am going to be running IP tool on my uh, computer. And I'm going to refresh. And my camera should populate in about a second. So when you first uh, power them up, they're going to be defaulted with the IP address 192.168.226 network. Uh, what you want to do is you want to highlight uh, the camera and on the right hand side under modified network parameters here you can uh, go ahead and uh, configure it to your network so uh, for this example I'm going to be doing this one and the you enter the default uh, password which is one two three four five six and click modify so now I'm going to refresh and this one is now configured to my network this one is not so now I should be able to connect to this one so now let's say that I accidentally changed the password on this unit and now I can't get into it to restore restore the unit back to default what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the right until you see the MAC address you want to click on this option restore IP camera default configuration you want to click on this drop arrow and you want to enter the MAC address so I will enter the MAC address and uh, it does not matter if the letters are capsized or not so in the instructions once I hit OK I have 30 seconds to restart the camera in order for the uh, restore to take effect so I will go ahead and click OK and make sure I disable the right camera so click OK and now let me restart that camera okay so let me refresh this one shouldn't disappear because we haven't touched it it's still powered up so in about a second or so the other camera should appear and it should have the default IP address again and there it is so again uh, so now I'm able to uh, configure the camera again uh, this is the transcendent line by uh, you working with the IP tool and if you uh, need to bring the camera back to uh, default and can't get into it you would scroll over to find the MAC address and change it right here under the restore IP camera configuration. Thank you.